hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is trivia and today i just want to talk about managing negative emotions like if you guys are anything like me then this happens a little bit too often i am an empath so i'm always feeling people's emotions and it's kind of aggravating because i'm still learning how to just like protect myself from those or like just like i think everybody can feel vibes if you want to be honest everyone can feel vibes okay but this is my advice to you guys on how to control these negative emotions that you're having so the first one that i highly recommend that has worked for me tremendously multiple times unless i was like head over heels is calm down a nice technique that you can do for this is just literally count to 10 just count to 10 and if it's not working once you count to 10 start over count to 20 count to 30 count to 50 if you need to so yeah calm down and count number two is you need to literally relax when i say relax i mean relax your entire body relax your muscles relax your mind relax your body everything just needs to be relaxed because when you have tension like when your muscles are tense then that is sending a signal to your brain that something is wrong so just relax number three is sit with those emotions literally just sit there and have the emotions like even if you just need to go into a quiet room by yourself cry it out punch it out scream it out whatever it is you need to sit with those emotions go through your head talk about it with yourself well i guess some people don't have that internal monologue if you whatever just sit with the emotions if you need to cry cry okay if you need to hit something punch a pillow if you need to scream scream in a pillow number four change your perspective okay this is so i'm very good at seeing different viewpoints and stuff but when i get super emotional or like super angry or sad or something then it's a little more hard for me to see someone else's viewpoint so when you're angry just as i said calm down count and change the perspective okay it can be totally different i am a person who did this a lot i would think someone's thinking this way and they're thinking a total opposite so in my head is going this way but in their head is completely different and it's nothing is ever what it seems like ever <laughs> number five would be if you trust someone or if you're comfortable with talking to someone i would say talk to them about it just get it out um another thing is holding that in it builds up over time okay it builds up over time and then you just do this big huge bomb and nobody wants that that's just not good for you that's not good for anyone around you it's just not good so if you could get the chance and you need to talk about it talk about it i have people that i talk to about things when i'm like having a hard time or if i can't really articulate what i need to say to someone i will go and talk to someone or if i'm seeing a different perspective and it's just not clicking then i call someone and i say hey like what's going on the my favorite person is to call is my mother or my cousin zaya because my mom you know moms are just smart okay my mom always give me a whole different perspective always every single time and my cousin zaya she's just like me she could see both ways and then the great thing is because she's not biased so i could be talking about somebody but she's not biased because she don't really know that person so she and she's comfortable with telling me when i'm in the wrong which i love you need to have those type of people in your life when they make you accountable for your actions the best people ever number six is is doing something that you love so this can be doing your hair, doing your makeup, sitting down reading, going for a walk, or going for a hike. Just do something that you love when you're like overly emotional. Like I remember when I was younger and I would just get so like just frustrated with things. I was going through a lot when I was younger. I would just get so frustrated with things. I would literally just have to leave out the house and go for a walk. And I did not care whether it was raining. I never did it when it was snowing. But it, it just didn't matter. I just needed to get out and take a walk. And once I did that, took like a 20 minute walk and then I went back. I was totally fine. Totally fine. It's, it's the best thing you can do, honestly. Number seven is release those emotions. As I said before, scream it out, punch it out, whatever you need to do. I highly recommend going to the gym going to a boxing gym going on a run because you know when you run you're getting all of that adrenaline out you're getting all that anger out um yeah and it helps a lot or a walk 
And number eight, if you can, stop those negative emotions midpoint. Like if you're thinking about something negative, just stop it. Literally, just, just stop, take a deep breath and start thinking about something else. That's something that has helped me tremendously like over the last six months. When I, has, when I tell you guys, I'm a very emotional person. I am super emotional. But stopping my thought process in mid-thought has helped me so much because then I just forget about it. And then when if it comes up again, I was like, oh, oh, whatever. It's not that serious. It's not that deep. Like, literally. I hope you guys enjoy these tips. I hope they help someone out there. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a nice day. Bye.